What's going on everybody? I'm gonna be real. I don't even know where to begin. There's been a lot that's happened. I guess ultimately we should start off with, I'm now officially 27 years old, so that's good. Yay for aging. I feel old. I still feel like a little kid at heart, but I will say over the past year or two, I definitely feel as if I've matured a lot. Granted, I haven't been recording as much, so you guys really haven't seen those changes. But actually, I think recording less has allowed me to like zone in on me and like focus on like what I want out of life, what I don't want to be in life, and ultimately just becoming a better me. I know it's been a couple months since I've last posted anything. I was Snapchatting for a while, like every single day, and then just out of nowhere, just completely stopped. Everyone's all confused. I know I lack sometimes with giving you guys updates, but Sometimes I just really don't even want to go on social media and post anything. Now, obviously, as you guys know, my last video to you was talking about Dave and Julian passing away. Such a tragic, bizarre situation. I still can't believe it to this day, but you know, as time goes on, it gets easier and you have to move on, unfortunately. Now, I'm not going to use that as an excuse as to why I haven't been posting. I just genuinely haven't been in like a good mental space. I think that plays a little bit of a role as well. I mean, look, a very tragic situation. It's more so my family as a whole over the past year has just been very disconnected and like all over the place. You know, my sister had a child. We were hoping he was gonna come home, be happy, healthy. That didn't happen. I never got a chance to meet him. Very sad, I really wish I could have. You guys know I was super excited. I had like all these like expectations and thoughts in my head that like, oh, like I'm gonna be so close with him. I'm gonna play with him. I'm gonna, you know, buy him cool toys and just enjoy spending my time with him. And of course, you know, vlogging some of that so you guys can see. And ironically, a couple years ago, probably about five to six at this point, I've stopped expecting things in life and I've been a lot happier. So like the first time in the past like six years, I expected something and it didn't happen and it like really brought me down. But you know, of course, who would have ever predicted such a bizarre situation, right? Regardless, if you can learn anything from today's video, it is the less you expect in life, the happier you will be. That's 100% truth. Moving forward, I do wanna get back into posting more often on social media, especially vlogging for you guys. I, I keep having the urge to do it, and then that urge dissipates as soon as I like go to pick up my camera. And I'm just like, ugh. Like, I don't know why I have this like odd feeling as to why I didn't wanna do it. But today I was like, screw it, bro. You gotta get out of this bad mindset and you just gotta pick it up. Just vlog. What up, Hazel? They haven't seen you in a bit. Look how big you got. Yeah, you're all Don Rowan now. Aw, oh, she's so cute. What do you want? She always wants something. As soon as I start talking to her, she expects a treat or something. You guys can see we have a new rug in our living room. My family actually gave this to me. They have a smaller version of this at the front of their door at their house. But the good thing about it is it's washable. And Gio loves to pee on that rug. So they're always cleaning it. But you guys know we struggled with Hazel before peeing on the carpet. So hopefully she doesn't pee on here. But if she does, of course, we can just wash it. She seems to love it. She was like rubbing her face all on it yesterday when we first laid it down. Another update is that we got the front of the house painted a different color. So it's more of like an off-white compared to the brown creamish color that we had before. I like this a lot better. To be honest, I really disliked the color that was on here before. And of course, we got the beautiful Lambo. I've been successfully able to drive this car for the past couple months now without having to bring it to the shop because of some issue going wrong. Ever since we got the transmission fixed, everything's been good. It drives great and I have had no complaints. I can actually enjoy the car now. Before, I was getting so annoyed that I was like, oh, why did I buy this thing? I'm regretting it, I hate this thing, but I can I can actually fully enjoy it now. And if you haven't noticed, my X6M is in here and neither is Julia's car. Julia's currently out at the store right now. She actually took my X6M. She's been driving that car recently until she gets her new car because her lease on her Porsche was up. She'll actually be getting a new car soon, so you guys will see that when it comes in. I'm not gonna spoil it just yet as to what it is. Talking about leases, I have one car out of my whole collection that I lease. And it is my Tesla, which that lease is up pretty soon. I think in like October, I have a couple months with it left. Thoroughly enjoy driving that car. I might end up getting another one. Who knows, we'll see. What up everybody? Before we continue with the rest of today's video, I wanna let you know about True Classic Tees. Look, I've tried on a lot of different name brand t-shirts and in my time, I have not found anything as soft, comfortable, and affordable as True Classic Tees. They have a ton of different options to choose from. I hate shopping for clothes and I can never seem to find something that fits that premium quality without that premium price tag. Until I found True Classic Tees. 
I love the way it feels, especially around my chest, shoulders, and back. It's super tight fitted and comfortable. So if you wanna stop spending a fortune when it comes to your style, make sure to upgrade the True Classic Tees right now. You can actually get 25% off using my link. That is trueclassictees.com slash Lance. This air quality is so bad. There's some wildfires going on. This happened a couple weeks ago and the, the air was just completely polluted. It was foggy all the time. It's not good to be outside right now. I'm probably damaging my organs just being out here. So here's the weather and you can see the air quality right here is 171, which is unhealthy. It's bad. The weather is beautiful, but there's no point. I can't go outside. It's funny, Julie and I actually planned on going outside to tan today because we went on vacation uh, probably about two weeks ago at this point. We went to Cancun and I got so much color. As soon as I got home, all that color went away. Now I just look pale. I don't, I don't get it. Julia kept a lot of her color, at least on like her body. For some reason, both of our faces lose color really quick. I think it's because all the skincare that we do. So I was like, all right, we'll take this day. We'll have a little cool day. We'll go out tan. Yeah, I don't want to be outside for an extended period of time. I ain't trying to get sick again because I got sick on vacation when I came home. Well, I got sick after vacation. Julia got sick on vacation. She had something similar to what I had, which was basically, as soon as I got home, I got intense cramps in my stomach. I felt nauseous all the time. And I literally went diarrhea three to four times every single day. And I kid you not, in 10 days, I lost 10 pounds. And I was like, oh my God, this is not good. I need to go to the doctor, see if I have like, if I have like a parasite, I need to get some type of like parasite killer. But Julia had a similar issue and luckily she brought charcoal on vacation with her. And charcoal does like help bind all that, you know, stool together if you do have diarrhea and it does help with parasites and it seemed to help her. So I took that consistently every four hours for like three days and I feel completely normal again. I feel like myself. I felt like crap, literally like I didn't want to do anything. I just wanted to like lay in bed all day. I had no energy. My body was not absorbing the food that I was eating. So I was like malnourished. And then on top of that, there's like, there's been this little cold going around recently. So I've been pretty stuffy and like nasally dripping and all that good stuff. But we're past that now. I'm feeling good, feel energetic. I'm just ready to go. I'm actually going to show you guys the gift that they got me for my birthday. Well, she got me a few things. I'm gonna show you the one thing that she got right now. I'll just talk about the other things. So she got me something from Gucci. I really actually like this box. This box is really cool. Open it up. So she got me these Gucci loafers, which are really nice. <laughs> you want it, Hazel? You want it? <laughs> Super sleek, just all black. The reason she got me those is because I've been trying to dress up more lately. Like when I go out, I like wearing like dress pants and like a button down shirt. And I never have like dressy shoes to wear with it unless they're like super dressy, like something I would wear to a wedding, like it's just too much. So these are, you know, pretty casual. This is better for me if I'm just going out and I'm not getting like super, super dressed up. So she got me those. She got me actually two pairs of dress pants and then a dress shirt. And the dress pants and dress shirt are actually tailored for more of like an athletic build. You guys know. I go to the gym every single day and work out for like literally three hours a day. I'm pretty stocky, even though I don't look like it. This is like a, a sleeper shirt right now. It's an oversized shirt, but everything fits me so tightly. So the stuff that she got is like a little bit more stretchy, still dressy, it looks very nice. And the reason she got me all that in combination was because she actually planned a dinner date for us, which I'm going to tomorrow at this really nice restaurant in Philadelphia. I'm super excited to go. We have both been wanting to go for months now, so definitely excited to check that out. I'm gonna grub a lot, especially because I lost all this weight, and I don't even understand. I'm still losing weight. I'm eating 4,000 to 5,000 calories a day, and I'm still waking up leaner and lighter every day. It makes no sense. I still don't quite think my body is fully absorbing all the nutrients that I'm giving it, which sucks because if I keep dropping a weight, eventually I'm gonna go into like a catabolic state. My body's gonna start eating its own muscle. I don't want that. It takes a long time to build muscle. Definitely not trying to get rid of it. As you can see, we are currently still in March. <laughs> Julie and I make a joke about this at least once a week, how she hasn't changed the date yet and it just keeps staying there. I don't know. It's kind of like a running joke at this point. We were using that a lot before, but now it's kind of like I write everything down on my calendar on my phone and Julia does the same. So. We haven't really been like super attentive to the one hanging on the freezer. Another birthday gift that Julia got me is a Ninja Creamy. This thing is really cool. You have all these options on it for ice cream, milkshake, light ice cream, smoothie bowl, sorbet, and gelato. I've made ice cream and sorbet on here and it works really well. So to show you kind of how it works, you have this cup right here. You can fill this cup with all of your ingredients, whether you want to make straight normal ice cream. Julia and I usually make protein ice cream. So I'll add our milk, protein powder, fruit, flavoring, whatever it is. I've recently been making peanut butter banana protein ice cream and it is fire. Put it in the freezer for 24 hours and then you'll put this on, which has a blade attached to it usually, which is right there. I gotta put it on. You just put it in here and it'll blend it. I'd usually do light ice cream. It makes it very 
smooth. A lot of my garage has been cleared out. We finally sold the paramotor. I knew I was never gonna fly that thing, especially after the fact that right as I bought it, a buddy of mine who was a YouTuber flew one of those, ended up passing away from it, so. Wasn't a good idea. We had this little tricycle drifting bike here, got rid of that. We also had like a tiny dirt bike, got rid of that. Just trying to clear out some of the unnecessary things that I don't really use anymore. What's wrong? What is it, you wanna play with Gio? Wanna go play with Gio? Come on, let's go get him. Let's go get him. <laughs> Why are you crying? You're like a little bunny. Wow, look how beautiful the pool looks. See, it's so nice, I wanted to tan. Gio, come play. Hi, boy. Oh, look how happy they are. They always like coming to my backyard. Go, go, go. Hazel, go get him. Oh, you're peeing. Oh, no, you're peeing. Go get him. <laughs> Boom. There's no way you got scared. Spot blood kidney. Nah, you're literally joking. Ah, you didn't, you, got a camera. You didn't hear the door cracking? I'm busy trying to read that something that they found bodies. They found bodies? What, you, what door did, you, did I hear? Huh? What is it? What do I got in my hand? I, I said a camera. Why do I have it? I guess you're videoing me, so. What if I'm not? Good. <laughs> What if I'm actually just holding it and practicing and there's not even anything oh, going on? Feel. Feels I great. I used to be used to holding something like that. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. Got a lot to hold up. You make so nasty, bitch. No, you do it to yourself. I didn't say shit. I don't do that to myself. All right, ready? I'm going to start recording. Goodbye. All right, we're recording now. Hello. <laughs> you want to hold it? No, it's heavy. Guys. Come on. You got to get your weightlifting in for the day. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Yeah. There you go, it's my grandson. <laughs> Rock it away. <laughs> what are you watching, your shows? I don't know, just something to pass time away. I was upstairs in the morning. Yeah. Doing laundry and la di da di da di. What do you got over here? Julian and Julian. Dave stuff? My little sweetheart. Yeah. I think I just need to hear it. That's it. You know what I mean? Look at my battery's about to die. I did too much vlogging already. Yeah, I bet you better. Put your hand in your pocket and pull one out. Damn, yo, I completely forgot. I gotta go get new batteries. Where Look you at you with your fancy you, recliner. Where you gotta go get them at? The store. You wanna come? What store are you going at? My house. Now, I really need to go to the store, but I didn't know if you wanted to, if you are so busy. Well, you wanna go Walgreens? I got a list and I'm checking it twice. All right, Santa. <laughs> Let's see it. What are you doing, Gio? You sunbathing? <laughs> get him, Hazel. Grandma and I are gonna head to the store. I think we're going to Walgreens, so we're gonna jump to the little car right now. What is she doing? Why are you out in the middle of the street? Wow, Grandma. You're like Rapunzel. I'm sucking. <laughs> Let down your long hair. <laughs> I just washed it. I didn't fix it. I don't think the camera does that well of picking it up, but like it's it so foggy like it's down here. It looks foggy, but it's the smoke. Yeah. See, this is why I don't like this intersection because guys come at me, go at me, and like get nervous. Look, yeah, like the merging lane right here. Oh, she I gets so nervous. It. What you been up to, girl? Living life? I was upstairs all morning because I washed clothes. Same, I washed mine. Then I had them. to wait for them to get dry. Then I had to fold them. Then I had to do Same thing. I put towels away. Had a shower. Okay. Washed my hair. I took a shower, watched this mop, as you could see. Mm -hmm. Look at this dude. Oh, mom, I think I'd be killing myself. They see me rolling. I don't have this stuff to They hate it. Oh, Who's in the street? Nobody's oh, got pools because I couldn't do it. You gotta get one of them. You'd be cruising. How, how fast do you think they go? Like 15? I don't have, I don't have a clue. Damn, imagine those things went like 50 miles an hour. Oh, just for me. Jeez. I have a scooter that goes like 70. It's insane. We gotta get you on one of them. That's okay. You don't want to ride it? Mm -hmm. Probably take all your hair off. Well, my hair ain't false. <laughs> it's a false. Take like no weed, Charles. Girl, I'm gonna weave on. Got your bags? Oh, man. What happened? It's stuck. Oh, I think it's curves. It's terrible. What's it stuck on? I can't. I come prepared. Remember the time we went shopping and we have no bags? Yeah, it's oh, soft. What if they need? But we made it do. Forget how to get out? I gotta do something. There's a button at the top. That's the oh, window. The window. Wait, this up here, you push oh, that, that one. one. Yeah. It's been a while. Yeah, it has been. <laughs> here we are, back at your favorite spot. Look, they, they even got a 
the cards out for you. Someone always leaves out at least one, but grandma usually is the one to grab it. Grandma's all happy. She's yeah, got recognized. Nice. <laughs> grandma doesn't get out that often, so when she comes out, she gets recognized. It like literally makes her entire day. It's pretty cool. What are you doing? You got a roadblock? Okay. You just made it worse. <laughs> Look, she can't get through. <laughs> you want help? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Wow, look at all the brushes. Is that what you're getting? I don't know. I'm just picking it up. So oh, she's right. taking it out of the package. Oh, I don't want that thing. Oh, my God. <laughs> Grandma. <laughs> she just walks away. I'll pick it up. There we go. S somewhat good as new. This the perfectionist. Mm -hmm. I gotta go to the eye doctor. This, I can't even see out of this eye. Yo. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, this eye, I haven't been. Yeah, it's cool. It's cl it's like glossy. Oh, it's I had an eye like that for like four days. Everything's blurry. Yeah. This eye was like that for days. You can see it's still kind of bloodshot, but it was like very glossy. Kind of felt like there was a film over. I couldn't see that well. I guess from being sick. I like this color. You tell me now. This color? Mm -hmm. Grandma. Why get this color when you just let your hair grow out and it'll naturally look like that? Do I look like I got f***ing for you again? <laughs> <laughs> then get it if you want nah, it. Nah, it's alright. I'm just... I think it'll make you look older. You I know am, what I mean? Look. I am ultra. Damn, girl, flex that tricep. Let's see it. What's this? Come on, let's now, see the see arms. see, you made me forget what I was supposed to be getting here. Look, well, you can see everyone throughout the whole store. It's like no one in here right now. It's only us, girl. We're the only ones ever here. <laughs> what? I'm talking myself. Clearly. I ain't paying that $12.99 for scrunchie. That's a bunch of bullshit. Oh, I need shampoo. Okay. Now, they said there's another one out. I want to try. I'm going to try this. Okay. How could one talk to themselves so much? Well, when you're alone like me, you do I guess so. You're your own best friend. I ain't buying that scrunchie. I don't need this. I need birthday card. I need a birthday card to Theo. Surprise. Ah, I hurt. Oh, Did it? Yeah. Yeah, see, it made me lose concentration. I need a first birthday card. I forgot my... You need a balloon? I forgot my great-grandson's birthday. His first birthday. They're probably talking about me. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure he's talking yeah, about you. He's probably like, my mom once forgot my birthday, and I did. Oh, it goes with old age. Help me, Lance. You're looking at the camera here. I need first birthday. Oh, wow, wow, I just saved it. I just draw my camera, I saved it. Every time we come here, Graham needs a new card or something. I hate looking for cards, if I'm being honest. I need first birthday, and then I'm gonna add a dodge. First birthday. Wow, you're gonna get him that one? Get him this one, yo. He'll love that. No, it's for a little good boy. So, this does that like that looks girlish. This one, it doesn't say first birthday. True, can't get him that one. That looks too girlish. Happy first birthday. Are you, Grandma, are you assuming his gender? Well, that's what he's got between his legs. I'm going by <laughs> first birthday. Here we go. Oh, this one makes you be this one it says one. Oh, I got this one. All right, what's oh, wrong? Your back, the same thing has happened all the time. That I dude mean, blew it out. What dude? I don't know. You were seeing someone. What was his name? What was I saying? What was his name? I forget his name. I don't know who you're talking about. Yeah, I played Dom Art. How long ago did you talk? 20 years ago? Couple months. You said he blew your back out. I don't know who the f you think I've been playing. <laughs> there was a joke. We had it in one of the vlogs, I think. Or no, it was on one of my Snapchats. Oh, I can't keep up with your jokes. Yeah. Well, now, cleaning products? I don't know what I'm doing. Gotta clean, I don't that, have a clue. Gotta clean that stinky asshole. No, it's for your mouth, job. <laughs> They took this off the market, but I didn't get anything. I need a new cup, but I don't want to destroy it. You need a new cup? You got like 20 of these. Yeah, but they're old. I did Julia's one, but you do me baby. You want this one? No, it's got a straw. Oh, you don't want a straw. Hmm. The one Julia got me is my coffee mug. I use that because it holds a lot of my, my coffee. You want one of these? This is like, this is up your alley. How much is this? Uh, oh, no, it's too little. I need one this big. Like so, you want tall? All right, it's twenty bucks. Every time I come in here, I buy the wrong thing. Let me get. What? The hell are you looking at now? She's looking at everything. Ah, oh, you can get him a little toy car for his birthday. Yeah, by the time I send it to New York, it cost me fourteen. They got a little Mustang Shelby, bro. How is this guy here? Someone must have thrown that. Oh, the lights up. 
Oh, it fell between your legs. Oh my, you're so good. <laughs> oh my God, Jesus. <laughs> I did my inches. Yeah, you're messed up. Yo, when did they start making these like Barbie dolls so thick? Nah, this is different. See, this one's like normal and like thin how it usually is. This one's got like mad curves and whatnot. You gotta get your medicine. I have to see. I gotta think. Who knows if it's right or wrong? I'll wait in line for you so it you can sit. Me and it ain't right, so. For the first I time ever, Grandma doesn't have any medicine to pick up. Wow. I, I gotta come back on. tomorrow to get it. There was one thing, but it wasn't ready. But usually she has something every single time. Damn, Grandma. Is that Magnums. You use them that big? Use magnums? Yeah, when I got a piss and go to the bathroom, it may talk so and I was looking at you. Wait, wait. When you got a piss and go to the bathroom? I can have a Magnum piss. condoms. Condoms? Who sticks that big? Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Why you got them? You got the chocolate. Wow, you got the BBC. Oh, you got me thoroughly confused. <laughs> you, 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 I, the, I just can't stand this child. I'm confused. I am so confused. Sexually? Get me off. All right, and that concludes the trip. Get everything you need. <laughs> She's still looking. <laughs> nah, too expensive. No, I didn't see a price out because they say that. Yeah, they got a drink now called Squirt. <laughs> all right, there we go. We're all done. Two bags worth. Look at Grandma's nails. They're all like multicolored. What is it? Like turquoise? It's gel. It's a chrome put on top of the blue. Oh, and yeah. It looks sharp. like yeah. It looks like turquoise. I think next time. It looks like this. We're in the middle. Yeah, back that, yeah, yeah. That's funny. When I go next time, I'm going to do black and have chrome put on top. Oh, sick. That's going to be a different look. Hell yeah. Just dropped off grandma's stuff. Another little update that I didn't tell you guys about. Obviously, my sister's going through a lot right now. The whole family agreed that it was best if she stay around the family as much as she possibly can. Obviously not stay alone in her house, just being like depressed all the time. Like you need to surround yourself with, with people in, in times like this for sure. So she actually moved back in temporarily to my parents' house. She's living down the basement right now. She's currently at work, so you guys will see her later. And of course, talking about Sabrina, I'm sure you guys are wondering how she's doing. She's a lot better. Obviously as time passes, things get easier. I'm sure it's still messing her up, but she seems to be doing pretty well. Just made it back home. Julia made up some burger bowls, mmm. -hmm. What do we got in there, girly? I guess like a Mexican bowl, not a burger bowl. Yeah. Yeah. It's so, white rice, ground beef, lettuce, cheese, sour cream. A little bit of hot sauce. Yes. Gonna make my bowl right now. Julie and I have actually been having this for the past like four or five days now consistently. Mm -hmm. It's like one of our meals throughout the day. It's pretty good. It's very filling. A lot of volume for sure. And here's my bowl. Just wrapped up eating. Now, Julie and I wanted to go to the store because as I told you guys with the Ninja Creamy, you can make sorbet. I made sorbet the other day. I basically just had a bunch of frozen fruit. I mixed in some honey and water. And it turned out good. It was... It wasn't amazing, but it was good. But what I think is really gonna be good is if we get the canned fruit from the store, because obviously it's like mixed in with the fruit juice itself and I wanna be adding water that kind of takes away the flavor. So we're gonna head there now, grab a bunch of canned fruit and then decide which one we wanna make for today. There we go, there's the XXM, the Panda. How do you like driving the XX? I love it. Is it scary? It, yeah, it's really fast. Yeah, it it's is. Like, honestly kind of scary, yeah. I gotta check that car every day for potential dents and like scrapes on my rims. Oh my god, I'm good with cars. It better not happen. So Julia got the same thing on her nails as Grandmom has, except Grandmom's looks totally different for some reason. This is blue with chrome powder on top of it. Wait, Grandmom, Grandmom got the same thing. Wait, she got the chrome that I told her to get? Yeah, but remember it looks like tur it looks like turquoise. It's like multicolored. No, I didn't. Did she just get it done? Like two weeks ago. Oh, wait. wait I'm gonna show you the video. Wait, I didn't know she got chrome, yeah. So she got the same thing as you, right? But they gave her the wrong what? Yes, but they gave her the chrome that has like the color in it. Oh, okay. Like, you know when you see the cars with the chrome color? Yeah, there's like different, it's like multicolor. It looks yeah. like, literally looks like turquoise. I get white chrome. Oh, okay. Oh my God, people are gonna else. What? Fat. <laughs> no, they don't. Dude, what? Body image dysmorphia is so bad, bro. It's really bad. You look great, Julia. Stop. I have a pimple. I was gonna show my nails. My is long, bro. I literally, like, we'll go to the nail salon together and I'll just get, like, a basic, like, petty and mani and obviously no color or anything. Just because I don't like doing it on my own. If I do, then my nails get all messed up and, like, I got skin peeling everywhere. It just looks not nice. So that's why I'll go with her. I clipped these, like, four days ago, four or five days ago, and they're this freaking long already. You guys got to see my toenails. It's bad. Like, they haven't been clipped in, like, almost a month. They're literally piercing through my socks. Oh my like, God. it's bad, bro. Like, sometimes it hurts to walk, like, it, with shoes it on. It hurts with your shoes on, yeah. Yeah. 
I, I gotta get them done so bad. So My toenails are longer than yours. Oh, natural, yo. Both of ours. So are mine. I know. <laughs> Both nails. For yeah. her. Yeah. Well, what is this dude doing? Oh, oh he's. Oh. Oh. I thought he was like doing that on purpose. Well, as a joke, but it was on purpose. Sorry, I wasn't trying to make fun of him. I just didn't. I was confused when I saw that. All right, now we are at Walmart. They have a huge selection of stuff, so we're, I'm sure gonna find exactly what we need here. Talked about feeling fat. I should have showed you guys how I felt and what I looked like on vacation. I was eating everything. So we went to Cancun. We went but there you, for. You sorry to cut you off. You still look like great though. Thank you. Like you were like filled out. Yeah, but my face just like blew up like a balloon. I was eating everything. We literally ordered room service, and every time we'd order room service, I'd get like eight plates of different things. Like every time. Yeah, I mean, because what it's all inclusive, you're just gonna buy every single thing you can get. Yeah, you just get everything. It's just. Do we need a cart? Probably. No. I'm getting a cart. Yeah. Plus, we. Damn it. We didn't bring bags. I always forget because they make you bring your own bags. You get a car. But yeah, on vacation, all inclusive, like you know I'm eating. But yeah, on vacation, I gained a lot of weight and then I got that little bug parasite thing and I lost literally it all. It, it, it evened itself out. It literally made you lose everything. <laughs> everything I gained, yeah. Okay, yes, there's a bunch of stuff. Very cherry, mixed fruit, natural cherry flavored extra light syrup. That sounds good. Fruit cocktails. I want mango. There's pineapple. I really want mango. There's grapefruit, yellow freestone peaches. That's probably really good. This isn't like a heavy syrup too. That's Make like good. a peach sorbet. Do you think mango would be good? Not or, yeah. Or not mango, mandarin? Yeah. What's up here? Mixed fruit. All right, I'm gonna figure out what I want. Then I'll show you guys what we get. Okay, so we got pineapple. The very cherry blend, which consists of peaches, pears, grapes, and cherries, mandarin oranges, peach chunks. They didn't have the mangoes in the can, so I had to get them like this. This is what I wanted the whole time. Yo, Julie and I like freaking out right now. So we get these yogurts all the time. It's just like the light and fit yogurt. And we usually get this. This is peach, they have cherry, but they got some flavors here that we've never seen before. Bro, caramel apple pie. I want to try that. Which one is that? Lemon meringue. Where's Lemon, the other one? Of key these? lime, strawberry cheesecake. Tiramisu. Tiramisu's up here. Blackberry. Blackberry, what? I've never seen that. What's this? They got all these flavors I've never seen. That's the key lime. Remember, we tried the, we got banana at the house. Like, I wish the they'd ones right here. marshmallow. Yeah. No, this one's gonna slide. That one's, yeah, I wanna get some of these. And lemon meringue. These are really good, especially if you're dieting. Like, it's 80 calories, 12 grams of protein, zero grams of fat. The macros are fire. It's filling, it's lemon good. Lemon meringue and then lemon cream. Those are two hmm. different ones. Yeah. yeah. Wow, we're so excited right now. Psh, we just loaded up heavy on some yogurt. <laughs> I'm about to have that when we get home. Yeah, me too. That sounds so good, the apple pie one. I used to do the triple zero oikios yogurt because it's like 15 grams of protein, zero fat. Macros are still good, but this kind tastes significantly better than that. Um, they actually have like little fruit at the bottom and like a syrup and you kind of mix it in. A lot more flavor, a lot less dry. Julia also found this. What is it? Real coconut melts? Like Hyper real... dried fresh and milk chocolate. Wow. Yeah. I like coconut and I like chocolate. I think it's, oh, it's milk chocolate in a jar. Looks good. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I fucked up guys. Oh, the bag spilled everywhere. It's supposed to go in the floor. I, I don't know what I was thinking. I just threw it in the back seat. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, we got to the car and I put all the stuff in a bag and I just threw it in the back seat and that that happened. You're cleaning that up. I guess so. Just got back home. We're gonna try the apple pie yogurt. I'm very excited actually to try this out. <laughs> Look at all this yogurt that we have. Oh my gosh. So some of them have fruit at the bottom. I don't know how this one is gonna work. It looks like there's like cinnamon mixed in. Is, is there, it at the bottom? Is there fruit? Oh, no, but there's little chunks, actually. Oh, with what, apple? Yeah. Yeah, this looks like it's gonna slap. Ready? You try it and I'll try it. Mmm. Oh my gosh. Wow. That's so flavorful. That is. Wow, that is really good. Mmm. Might have found a new favorite. Mm -hmm. I've been really liking the peach and banana cream lately. Oh mm. my god. That's really good. That's flavorful. Hell yeah. That's dessert. No, for real. Wow, they're killing it with these flavors. Mm -hmm. That's like a 10 out of 10 for me. I don't know, for yogurt as a whole? Yeah. I'm going to make my sorbet. I'm gonna use the mangoes, because this is what I'm most excited for. This is probably gonna be the most simplest one I've made to date. Literally just pouring probably like two to three cups of that into this big cup. I'm gonna freeze it. No protein powder, nothing. Just good old fruit sorbet. Got my scale, of course, gotta weigh everything out. We track everything we eat. 
Guys, I've been tracking my meals for like 600 days straight now. Like you can see on my fitness pal how many days your streak is. It's crazy. Oh, sh I'm leaking. Uh oh. Oh no, my water broke. You want to know something funny? I used to drain the juice out of those. Why? Well, I, I think I did too. Because I, I didn't like it. Yeah. yeah, same. But like as I got older, I started like liking a lot of things that I didn't normally as a kid. Yeah, now I drink cool. that. <laughs> yeah, chug that. Shit. Do you want some hazel basil? Yeah, this is gonna be good. Oh yeah, I think four is gonna be like perfect. You good girl? Yeah. Yeah. Literally to the fill line with four of them. Mango sorbet. Do I add honey or no? No. no oh no. There's enough like thick syrup in there. Yeah. So 462 grams. I gotta log that. This whole thing is 327 calories, 86 grams of carbs, four grams of protein. Then we just put this lid on. I'll stick in the freezer. Should be good in a couple hours. That says 24 hours, but that's usually for like the ice cream. And even so, we don't wait a full 24 hours. It's usually like 18 tops. And it's usually pretty frozen, but I think this is gonna freeze within a couple hours pretty quickly. Julia's gonna try out her little coconut chocolate thing that she got. I didn't think it was gonna look like that. I thought it was gonna be like thin, like yeah, not balls. Same. It kind of looks like. Try it out, girl. Too much chocolate. Really? I'd probably like it then. Is it good? No, I just had it. That's fire. That was really good. I like the more chocolate. We gotta wait and see how long Hazel can last without peeing on this rug. She usually does a good job and goes in her little potty pad if we're not home. Obviously, we take her out a lot throughout the day. But I'm hoping she's old enough to fully understand that this isn't where she should be going. I mean, hey, Gio is like six, seven years old, something like that, and he still pees on that freaking rug of my parents, so. Who knows? His is like spiteful peas when they leave to go down the shore. Yeah. And, and it's just him and like grandma. And he'll poo too. Mm -hmm. It's all spiteful. What are you doing? You sunbathing? I let her outside and she just does this. You want to come in? Like she doesn't even want to come in. Do you want to go on a walk? A what? A walk? Is that what you want to do? Let's go on a walk. Don't put your little harness on. Dad doesn't know how to put it on no, you. No, I do. Put it on. Oh. Yep. Very good. I brought her on a walk last night. Huh? Wait, it's on wrong. Wait, it is. Oh my god. <laughs> Wait, I did put it on Daddy wrong. Daddy doesn't know how to do your leash. <laughs> Go ahead, move your head. Oh. One more try. We got it right this time. <laughs> we just have a nice view of your ass. Yeah, you love it. <laughs> Shit's fat, ain't it? <gasps> Lance, that's gonna get taken down. Yeah, knees restricted. <laughs> yup. Oh, well, look at the striations in your calves. Wait, stay there. I'm zooming in. What? Wow. Oh, okay. Wait, what are we turning this into? Dude, look at the legs. Wow, let's try it, kids. Yes, yeah, son. <laughs> Got that sleeper building. That right. whole sentence, probably nobody's going to understand. The striations. <laughs> I said striated kids. Striated kids, <laughs> you know? We just add kids at the end of everything. I'll be like, oh, did you, did you grab the pink kids? I just feel like, what are you, like what? Like it's like the pink stuff right there. <laughs> All right, bye. Let's go. Bye, Hazel, I love you. You don't love me? Bye. Bye. <laughs> wow, no, I love you, okay. Mm-hmm. All right, Hazel, the air quality's bad. We can't be out here too long, all right? You gonna pee near the mailbox? Wow, how typical of a dog. Look at the trash people did. They just left all this shit. I gotta clean it up. They can't eat that. What happened here? I don't know where all this came from. I guess one of the bags got ripped open. There was like birds yesterday. I saw they were like picking at the bags. I tried like swooshing them away. Uh, you just going on your own? Whoa! <laughs> She's scared. Sorry, Hazel. Oh, good girl. <laughs> She's like trying to get through that gate. It ain't happening today. Where are you going? This way. This way. Come on. Yeah. Oh, you want some Chick fil A? <laughs> this isn't our normal uh, walk pattern. I don't want to be out here too long with her. I don't want to get her sick. We usually like go all the way down and cut into another development. Walk around that whole development. Ah, now the fire hydrant. <laughs> Very typical, Hazel. And that concludes our walk. You tired? You want a treat? I know you want a treat. You want pee pee? Yeah. Give her a little crunchy. Just got this package in the mail. I'm gonna open it up. I'm pretty sure I know what it is. Yes, sir. 
It's my new stringers. You guys know the stringers that I wear to the gym? Yeah, well, I grew out of them. I've been wearing mediums for years since I actually started lifting with the stringers. So it's finally time to move up because it's getting small and tight on me. So I've got some colors in here. We got black, of course, blue, white, green, and this new blue that came out. It's like a, not like a really baby blue, but kind of like a cyan. It looks really cool. And then of course, black under that. So I've got a bunch of new stringers now that are appropriate sizing for me. Do you like the color? Yeah. You do? Yeah. Let's show them what it looks like. I've never had this color before. Ta-da! Baby blue. Beautiful. Cyan. cyan. Is it look cyan or baby blue? It's baby blue. What's cyan? It's like a lighter blue. Gains, colors. Yeah. But yeah, this fits a lot better. Of course, when I first get it, it's like a little big and then you put it in the washer and it shrinks a tiny bit, but I'm telling you, none of those mediums like fit me anymore. I feel like such a goof while wearing them, so. Definitely needed some new, bigger sizes. I'm a big kid now. What are you banging on my door for? <laughs> what is this? What is going on, bro? I'm just an Oreo. The hurricane came in. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Uh, what are you doing? You're gonna walk in on her naked. What the? <laughs> oh, this is a gift that my parents got me. I forgot to show you guys. They got me a safe. So I got to hide like my jewelry and money in there and stuff. It's sitting in the corner right now because my dad was going to help me. We were going to like nail it into a wall or something. I don't know. We're going to figure it out. How's the gains coming in, guys? Let's zoom in a bit. I'm trying, dude. I'm really trying. Working my ass off every day. You guys saw the legs earlier. They're like, they're coming in. Damn. Been killing it. Getting ready to go to the gym. About to have my little pre-workout snack. I already had a meal like an hour ago, so I'm fine to hold me over. This is my snack, Pop-Tarts. We got chocolate fudge, mmm. Julie and I, I feel like, have tried literally every Pop-Tart that there is. We get fixated on things, and when we do, we like to try like one of everything. For example, there was a time period where we were obsessed with Ben & Jerry's ice cream, and we had to try every single flavor. Like look, even in the freezer right now, we still have one. This is like Boston green pie. That one's pretty good. I really like the dirt cake one, and it's like topped with like a chocolate ganache. It's incredible. It's basically cookies and cream, except the ice cream is like a pudding ice cream. It's amazing. But like, look at all these pop tarts that we have. We got s'mores and chocolate fudge, chocolate chip, confetti cupcake, grape, that flavor sucks. Cherry, Eggo waffle, that one's not that good. We have a gingerbread one. We had a lot more flavors too, but I've been going through them. But yeah, I eat this every day before my lift. It's like the only time I allow myself to have processed sugars throughout the day. Cause if I do, I just have like this super high surge of energy and then I crash because I don't do anything. But if I eat this and go work out for three hours, you know, I'm using all that energy. But this is great. I used to do Rice Krispie treats, but then I switched over to Pop-Tarts cause my pump with the Pop-Tarts is incredible. At the gym right now, to be honest, I don't really like recording my full workouts because I just feel like I focus so much on like getting to certain angles and perfect lighting for you guys. I just want to work out and do my thing, right? But I did just record a clip of me doing some curls. I'm gonna show you guys that right now. So this is my first bicep exercise, still kind of warming up. I go to 60s and then we're gonna drop down to you know about half that weight after for my next set. I usually do like six sets, feeling good. Got a nice little pump, veins are popping. 
over the past couple months, I've really like tried perfecting my form because I feel like my form slacked a bit before. I'm really trying to grow my biceps as much as I can. So put a lot of emphasis on going slow, contracting at the top and holding and squeezing, and then slowing the way down as well. I've noticed a lot more growth doing that. Also involving drop sets and like everything I do helps a lot. Just wrapped up my lift as I'm currently looking. Abs coming in. Hell yeah. Every single time I get done my lift, my breath smells so bad because there's literally nothing in my stomach. Like I burnt all my calories that I basically ate. Right now my breath smells like chlorine. I don't know why. It like always smells different. Got my post-workout meal. We got some mac and cheese and some chicken tenders with buffalo sauce. This is 54 grams of protein, 700 calories, 81 grams of carbs. I always like to have around 80 grams of carbs after my lift. Make sure I restore my energy levels and supply my body with enough, enough glycogen to actually grow my muscle. See, I'm gonna devour this real quick. And no scraps left behind. I am starving. As soon as I come home from the gym, every time I feel like I can just eat like a horse. So I think I'm gonna make that ninja creamy thing right now with the mangoes. Let's Yay. try it out. Show you guys. So it's been about like four and a half hours. You can tell it's, it's frozen. See? Oh shit. I was wrong. I just poked a hole through it. Oh no. I have a feeling. Damn, we're gonna let it freeze more, guys. Sorry. No. She peed on it? Where? Huh? <laughs> Hazel, what did you do? It didn't even last, no, it did last a full day. We just laid it down yesterday. <sighs> Come on, bro. She's lucky that we have this cleaner because she used to piss and shit all the time on our rug upstairs. So we had to buy this super expensive friggin' cleaner for it. Bitzel. Yeah, it's like a carpet shampoo or so. Uh, we're gonna use this this is why we can't have nice rugs. I know, it's all Hazel. And the culprit. She is. Hazel, no more potty on the rug, okay? Potty outside or on pee pad. Yeah, she'll give a uh, shit. She She's like, this is boring me. <laughs> That's why she just yawned. <laughs> Like it worked really well on this carpet the one upstairs i feel like it doesn't work well i think it does we just can't see it as clear because this is white but like maybe that just has to dry and then we can fluff it a couple more hours have passed we're gonna see if the mango sorbet is ready um damn i feel like i could make it work but i'm honestly like really hungry and i really want this i'm gonna try and make it work i might screw myself like i might might mess it up it's not fully frozen but i'm impatient and i really want this right now all right so i turn it on i put the lid on put the blender put it in here and now we are going to hit sorbet and it's gonna blend it and there's this blender in here that ends up moving down and like keeps going down all the way till it gets to the bottom and then it comes back up you can see it going it's trying i hope it's just not too uh watery it might be more like water ice at this point <laughs> yeah literally exactly like mango water ice all right let me try it that's good that's really good did i mess it up not quite it's still good Probably would have been more like a sorbet if I had waited longer, but we're chilling. I'm devouring this whole thing. That was good. Mm, I want more. Probably gonna make some more, eat it again tomorrow. It was really good too, cause occasionally you'd be eating it and then there's like a chunk of like a full mango that's frozen. That was just nice texture change up to chew on. I just made my, <laughs> my one for tomorrow. Yeah, I think that just made me hungrier. Like I want a full meal now, so I'm gonna eat some more. Julia's making hers right now. I wow, guess. one can is perfect for just like one as a whole. I guess I'm just doing orange. Some oranges. This is a beef burrito wrap, currently frozen. Super high fat, 41 grams, 70 grams of carbs, 47 grams of protein. I'm really high on my protein today. It's gonna put me over 300. Your boy just feels like an animal. I just wanna eat. Okay, definitely done eating after this. Final macro breakdown for the day, 4,500 calories with 312 grams of protein. A lot of carbs and a lot of fat. Look at this burrito, I just cooked it and it like left this like pouch. It almost looks like when you get a blister and you have to like pop it and all the water like comes out of it. Ew. 
Look at that. That's so weird. Wow, this actually slaps. It reminds me of Taco Bell, but like a healthier version. It's really good. It's like rice in there, peppers, beef. I think some cheese. Oh yeah, I'm full. No more burrito left. It's all in my tummy. Bleh. Oh Jesus Christ, <laughs> I'm sorry guys. Look at Julia's new phone case that she got, it's cute. So it's a wallet, you can open it. It's so cool. You got your cards in there. Yeah. I still have the 210 wallet, which I put on the back of my phone. You guys can see I have so many cards in there. It holds a lot. If you want to get your own, go to Lance210.com and get it there. Wow, this is the first time I've done a full day vlog in a very long time. And it's a long video too, so hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, make sure to smash that thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe for new videos. Hazel, do not pee on that friggin' carpet one more time. She's over there sniffing it. What you looking out for? And other than that, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.